What's up guys and gals, welcome to part 2 of the Heroes of Might and Wisdom mod review. So, part 2, we already went through what Heroes of Might and Wisdom is in general in part 1. So part 2, we're going to look at the mod that actually showed me the Might and Wisdom mod, Heroes of All Stars. Unlike the Might and Wisdom mod, you cannot use this with other mods, but it does have the uniqueness that instead of having the regular races, it is all the races from the Blizzard trio, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, and Diablo. Obviously Arcturus Minx, the Lich King, the Naga Queen, Karen Bloodhood, Deckard King, Diablo, Jaina Proudmoore, Jim Raynor, Everyone Loves a Murloc, Kerrigan, all these guys. This is called Heroes of All Stars. This is the, you you need the Heroes of Might and Wisdom to run this because this is based off that. But this is just a Blizzard take on the regular game. Now I found this awesome because, you know, I love Blizzard games. But we'll get into more detail on certain aspects of it. I think I'm going to play as Tyrael because I love Tyrael. And you can build the unique unit of every race with Tyrael on your team or playing as Tyrael. So, we're going to get right into it, because being able to build all unique units is OP. Now, I do have some problems with... The, re the reason I didn't play this one as much, you know, there wasn't tons and tons of attention to detail in this. The Heroes of Might and Wisdom mod was really nice. But this just really isn't. Now, the one thing I do have to give this credit for is this music. Listen to this old-school Diablo music. It makes me shiver with nostalgia. Now, obviously, as you can see, the colors don't really represent Tyrael at all. They just took colors from other races and plopped them in, so not much detail there. Again, this thing pops up like it did in Part 1. And we have a Militia which is a Lordaeron unit, I believe. It's a worker that can fight, which is quite opizzle. And obviously we can make Shadow Priests, which are a troll unique unit that replace the warrior. Zerglings replace scouts. We're actually going to make a Zergling so I can make a point. Again, this comes up. Let's see, we got Demon Hunter, Witch Doctor, and Martialist. I think I'm going to go with the Witch Doctor in this game. So in this game, you know we have skills and spells, which the spells obviously all do different things. So let's get moving. Now, all of the research stays the same in this game, in this mod. There is no major changes in research. There is no changes in research, I should really say that. Other than the unique units. Maybe I can find a Barbarian encampment here. I want to show you how OP this Lightning Bolt skill is. I'm actually going to turn down this music. I have it blaring because I love it, but... I do want to be able to hear myself talk, so... It's not like you can't find the music on YouTube anyway. I like Witch Doctors. It's the race I played when I did play Diablo 2. 3. My bad. I was a necromancer in Diablo 2. Nothing like having 30-something skeletons. Alright, so the Zerglings are done. Now, obviously, that's a Zerg unit. Now, this is really where I, I kind of fell off the bandwagon here. So we're just going to move out here. Now, do those look like Zerglings to you? Let's be real. I have never seen a Zergling that looks like that. Now, obviously, there's only so much they can do, but th come on. This is this is where I really lost kind of my interest in this particular mod, because that doesn't look anything like a Zergling did does. 
I mean, I give them credit for the unique units, and, you know, they kind of pull this together very well, but there are some areas they really did kind of botch out on when it came to creativity. <clears throat> Another big one, which we'll get to as we get a little farther in, is the culture. And we did find a barbarian camera, so I do get to show you how OP Lightning Bolt is. My wannabe Zerglings are going to be roaming for a little bit here. And we meet Zeratul, my favorite StarCraft character. They don't really give a speech, they just tell you what their passive, or what their, yeah, what their passive skill is, which is kind of dumb. Alright, we're going to do technology. Get a rogue scout, and we got the Violet Citadel, which unlocks for us the Ranger Verisa Windrunner. Because, you know, in this game we have all different heroes of World Wonders as well. You know, we have Terran Zoo, Medif. I don't actually remember a lot of these guys. I do remember quite a few of them. Nova, I do remember. <clears throat> as well as Bale and Goulden. And the Necromancer, but you know, you kind of get the point here, don't you? Enemy killed with spells fight for you as summoned units. That's not OP enough. Alright, so let me show you how old Pizzle this Lightning Bolt is. I'm going to have to wait another turn. What's up, Deckard Kane? But you know, we got a warrior chilling in the Barb Encampment. Apparently Deckard Kane took on the Chinese colors. If I was ever to play this mod for a full game, it would be as Tyrael. Because I like having the unique units despite how lacking they are in appearance. Now let me show you how OP this Lightning Bolt is. So Lightning Bolt does a little bit of damage, but its biggest thing is it knocks the enemy unit back. So all you have to do is knock them back and walk into their Barbarian Encampment. And you just cleared it, got a magic book, and now you can duke it out with the warrior. That lightning bolt. I, f I think it's the staff that gives you lightning bolt. I can actually check here. We'll go into, uh... Do you require a... Um, I can't click on it right now. I'll have to do it next turn. But there's a particular item that gives you it. And let's be real, that ability is just kind of overpowered. I was playing with the regular Heroes of Might game and I was just farming camps for days. Alright, let's show off some of the fancy spells here. Like Burn. Cooldown 6, deal some damage and they, d they lose 20% of their health every turn unless they jump in a lake. As you can see there's a little fire animation behind it. So now I'm just going to attack him normally. <clears throat> Again, that really doesn't look like a witch doctor. That just looks like an Arabian archer. There's Roman borders, but I don't know what they actually are. There's the Shadow Priest. These ones almost kind of look like they make sense. Can't really see their faces, but they got the fancy... So this I don't mind. There was obviously some effort there. The Zerglings though, let's be real. <clears throat> um, We will build the Violet Citadel, I guess, because I don't even think the game will go on that long. We'll have the Shadow Priest chill here. As you can see, this guy should still be losing health. My militia, guys. Alright, so... What is it that gives us Lightning Bolt? It is our staff. Our staff gives us Lightning Bolt. And Calm Down, which can actually work as a heal. So... That's that. 
The music has now changed to what I believe is StarCraft 1 music. So we're going to go into Talents of the Seven Pillars. And we'll build Advanced Wisdom. This was always my favorite StarCraft music. So anyway, we're going to attack him twice. Or no, we're only going to attack him once, I guess. Not all guys can attack that many times. This music goes good in every situation. Don't think I'm going to play this particular video that much longer. Actually, these are Swedish borders, but not really. They're Iyer. They're the Protossians. Technical term, Protossians. wandering around as my Nephil himself. Alright, I don't really think there's that much more to show you about the hero unit, to be honest. Anything you really need to find, you can just click on... Not even that. There's a section you can go. Go to the Civilopedia, and it talks about everything right here. Heroes, abilities, talents, artifacts, traits. If you want to know anything more, go in there. It is really simple to get a hold of once you start getting rolling. But... This mod, I don't give as high of a rating as the initial version. It's not compatible with other mods. And although it puts a neat spin on the the hero unit thing, it really, you know, the aesthetics. I mean, I can handle a Shadow Priest looking like that, you know, kind of like it's supposed to. But when a Zergling looks like a human, there's problems. So, I don't like this particular mod in that essence. I do like the OP ability of, you know, the High Heavens where they have every unique unit. But, I don't rate this that high. But I do the Part 1 the part one mod that's basic, that can be used in regular gameplay. I give that a much higher score. But, it is up to you. Obviously, you can download them both and try them individually. See which one you like best. So, that's pretty much all I've got for today. I hope you like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff, and I will see you on my next video.